What is up guys, my name is Clevis Tam, aka the eShop guinea pig, and I know I've not been posting much lately, but uh, I'm here and I'm pretty excited to tell you guys this is my first time in my life building my first PC. And to be honest, I'm pretty nervous right now, cause let's not lie, I've been watching non-stop YouTube Bruh. videos on how to build a PC step by step. I'm gonna be pretty confident of uh, this PC not working, but uh, I hope I won't like screw the parts up so I gotta have to return it. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. To be honest, this video is just like a vlog of me building my own PC and I hope you guys like this video and if you like this process of me fucking up my computer, just give me a like button. And um, I totally appreciate it. And um, you know, I'll bring you guys along the ride, baby. Oh, <laughs> should be like this. Oh yeah, let's get it. Now, let's talk about the PC parts that I chose for my PC. First of all, the CPU, the heart of it all, you know, the brain of it all. I chose AMD, AMD 7. 3700A. They include a Wraith Prism cooler inside, which is pretty kind of them. And I heard a lot of good things about the cooler itself, but I went ahead of myself in getting a water cooling system because uh, I kind of want to uh, overclock my system. And I got the NZXT Kraken X63. This has a 240 millimeter fan and a pump. The main reason why I got this is because the pump looks super sick with the lighting effects and stuff. So I just got this one and I hope I know how to install it to be honest. I'm not that confident of myself doing the right thing today, but I hope I do. Okay. And then uh, for the PSU unit, I got the ROG Strix 750W. So it's a 750 watt power supply and this is uh, an 80 plus gold PSU so I'm pretty uh, confident that this will give me enough power to overclock my system. And uh, after the PSU we got the main beast of the beast, the beast of my system. No, it's not that beast. GPU I went ahead and uh, got the 2070 Super RTX. And this is from Galax. Oh, it's Galax or Galax. Yeah, I was gonna get the Zotac gaming one, but they didn't have any in stock because of the current disease that's ongoing. Speaking about the disease, you know, uh, it's pretty dangerous. You know, gotta have the mask up when you go out. And uh, hope you guys stay healthy and stay strong. What? While I just stay home and build my PC. <laughs> yeah. When you get bored of being home too much, you just like, might as well spend some money and build a PC because I won't be going out as much often and out because of the disease. So I might as well, you know, set a ride, go for a train, get the PC parts back and uh, vlog, vlog with you guys and uh, show you guys my first time building this PC. This would be a pretty fun process. After the GPU, we got some small parts. For the storage unit, I got the Samsung Evo 970 Plus. Now, this is uh, M.2, so it's, it's uh, apparently the fastest thing, uh, like fastest storage nowadays, like compared to the SSD. So uh, pretty happy about this. And then we got the uh, the RAM. We got the Corsair Vagents. The, the, the Vengeance Pro and it's a 32 gigabytes and the reason why I got it is because there's RGB stuff yeah it's gonna be lighting up insane pew, pew, pew. Yeah, a lot of lights coming out with this system so I got the RAM in here and I talk about the RGB I got the RGB fan from uh, NTXT so it's a 140 millimeter fan and this is gonna replace like the fan that's behind the case so I have an RGB light instead and speaking of the case, I got the NZXT case, the H710i, which is the one that has RGB. Well, this build has got to be RGB based, so it's got to have a lot of RGB. But I don't know if I could like even hook it up. It might not even like light up, so there's not gonna be any light shows. But I hope I'm gonna, you know, make it happen. You gotta be the judge later if it doesn't happen, cause uh, my fault. This is my first time building my PC, and I don't know what I'm gonna do. And last but not less, but not least, we got the 
motherboard. The motherboard is the Ace Rock Tai Chi X570. That was the main wanted to get this with the Asus TUF Gaming, but I went ahead and got this one instead because it's a little bit uh, more expensive because of the more premium build quality and faster Wi-Fi capability. Yeah, that's all the parts that I got for the PC, and let's get into building it. guys okay I just finished uh, putting all the cables in as you can see uh, just turned on the switch here I plug in the HDMI cord into this monitor and let's see if this actually powers on see if we get any bad parts oh everything is working fine a few moments later okay okay a few inches later Still spinning. I got back on. Two thousand years later. Okay, it pops on. Ace Rock. So uh, it's a good sign. It's a good sign. It's a good sign because uh, everything is uh, on. And uh, we didn't get. We got a post. So uh, let's check out all the stuff that we have here. Ryzen seven three thousand seven hundred. And uh, two DDR RAM. So now I'm gonna put it inside the case, and uh, we got the first part done. Test benching successful. Next stop, we gotta have to put it in the case. Man got too hungry, so I just, just went to get food instead. So yeah, get mask up and uh, get to McDonald's, and then uh, I come back to get the PC done. Dude. Man is super tired, just had a big meal and uh, going back up to make that computer happen. So uh, let's get it. tired to be honest kind of want to get a nice nap but then uh i'm not even like half finished motherboard isn't it even in the case to be honest i just uh installed the back led fan so now i'm gonna do the water cooling system let's get it as you can see we screwed it in I count that as a success. I just changed the pace because I uh, changed to some Elenium because I was super like bummed out. Couldn't figure that uh, radiator in the fan. But now I figured it out. You need to pump some massive rave tubes. Okay, we got this. We got two. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is getting too complicated. Okay. I guess I can do this. Oh. What's the next step? Oh, the next step is uh, yeah. putting all the fans on top. But then should I connect these fans first? I should. Try to cable manage it. Pretty hectic. At this point, I think I do a pretty good job though. You know? One eternity later. Do it later, to be honest. Okay. So we did the fans and the cooling is done. Top. Oh, this is gonna make cable management worse. Okay, this is gonna be like this. Whoa. Does this even fit though? 
I fit, I fit. I thought I didn't fit for a second. But how is this gonna fit though? Oh no, no, no. Do we have to do that process? Well, how am I gonna fit this though? On here. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I have no idea. <laughs> I think I found out the issue. I think the issue is that I'm gonna have to use the big screw, which I forgot that existed. Now I figured it out. Or did I figure it out? This is supposed to go three of these little bad boys. Yeah, it fits, it fits. Fits nice. Nice. Perfect. We got this, we got this, we got this. Took me seven hours to do this whole process. And I'm not even in the motherboard yet. The motherboard is not even in the case. Well, I hope you guys are enjoying the ride so far. Yep. I need to get some music on. Some clean work. Oh, look at that, look at that. Yeah, it looks a little bit messy on the bottom, like especially like here. And uh yes, last but not least, the beast cable. Okay guys, moment of truth. I've just finished building my PC and uh, it's currently 12 o'clock. I used the whole day to do it. So uh, let's see uh, if this button actually turns on. You know? Of course it doesn't turn on right now because uh, I didn't plug in the PSU unit yet. So uh, let's plug it in and let's see if it's gonna do the job. Like a little ding. I have to plug it into the HDMI board. Okay. Wait, is it just Does this work? Okay, let's see if it works though. I really don't know. Uh, let's press it. Oh. Yo, it didn't work. Yo, it didn't work. I think I successfully built a PC. It was a long process, but I kind of enjoyed it. But then uh, my, you know, my bag hurts a lot now. And all my camera gears, there's no batteries. I've been charging this for like six times today. So it booted up. This is it guys. Thank you for cruising along watching this video. Hope you guys had a great time. I successfully built my first PC ever. I uh, hope you guys like this vlog, kind of vlog. I did not really like the vlog, but then hope you guys like this video. If you like it, hit the subscribe button and give me a like. I'll see you guys soon.
and uh, you know, oh, nah. Well, doesn't matter.